Ladies and gentlemen, according to the Washington Examiner, the Federal Bureau of Investigation opened Alpha Bank inquiry based on referral from Department of Justice, but it came from Sussman. This is huge, a huge development. The Federal Bureau of Investigation opened a full-fledged counterintelligence investigation into since debunked uh, Trump uh, collusion claims just four days after Sussman pushed the allegations to the Bureau with James Baker. That's why the lie was material. That's why when Sussman... When Michael Sussman, who was paid by Clinton and the Democratic Party, went to James Baker at the Federal Bureau of Investigation and said, I am, texted him, said, I'm not coming on behalf of a client. Okay, that's the first major lie right there. Then he billed the Clinton campaign. Then he met with Baker and gave Baker all this absurd, false, and fabricated information on Trump to get a government agency running on your tax dollars to investigate Clinton's direct political rival after they cheated Bernie Sanders. So they take care of Bernie Sanders within their primary, which is a complete racket. Then they go after Trump with government officials. Then they outsourced third-party tech firms saying that another country infiltrated the DNC to inform you that Bernie Sanders was cheated, and therefore that means Trump needs to be investigated. Only in the mind of Democrats could they have come up with, I mean, they get all their bases, they hit all their bases, okay? Corruption within their political party, it's another country. Their direct political rival, who, uh, who I stated in 2015-2016 in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, other publications, I said Clinton would lose to Trump. Well, that was a plot by another country as well. Look up the word xenophobia. You'll get the Democratic Party and one country that they blame for everything. But here, uh, the electronic communication marking the opening of the investigation cited, cited a referral from the Justice Department Uh, Rather than saying that that the allegations came from, okay, so, but the, but the, the, uh, the uh, communication four days after, so the referral was four days after Sussman had worked for the Justice Department in the past and testimony from Baker last week stated he had a badge that allowed him access to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. So it's not a coincidence that Suddenly, you have a Department of Justice. Um, suddenly, you have a Department of Justice referral from a former Department of Justice employee, Sussman, and and only a couple days after he meets with, only a couple days after he meets with Baker. Hit subscribe, by the way, to this channel. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel and the Bitcoin Crash channel below in the pinned comment. I have two very important segments. After this segment, go to the Bitcoin Crash channel. I'm going to talk about XRP. Very important to a lot of people. Um, Yeah, that will go the way, unfortunately, of Tether and of Coinbase. The entire crypto world, I explain, on the Bitcoin Crash to 10,000 or below channel, will continue to implode. Not something that I want, but something, unfortunately, that's taking place before our very eyes. I talked about that. I said that would take place in September of 2021. I called the market crash that we're seeing in September of 2021 on H.A. Goodman, this channel of almost 200,000 subs. So hit subscribe right now. And I called the market crash on the stock market crash channel in September. Uh, that, that channel is below in the pinned comment. And uh, I was published in The Federalist in October of 2021. So there's also a playlist you can see within the description section of this segment exactly when I told everybody. And it was long before. I was telling people in October of 2021. So go to the Bitcoin Crash channel right after this one. I have a very, very important segment. But here, uh, if you want to support my work, by the way, also, my Patreon is below in the pinned comment. To my new Patreons, I can't thank, I can't thank you enough. If you want to become a member of this channel, we have amazing members. Become a member. It's awesome. I will have, uh, I should have a live stream tonight. 
So be here for the live stream tonight. I'm not sure what time, but be here. And um, yeah, check out the two channels below in the pinned comment, ladies and gentlemen. The former federal prosecutor added, quote, to identify Sussman. Um, so it's it's interesting. These these copied those copied on the uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation uh, investigative launch document included since Peter Strzok. Okay, he also authored. So Peter Strzok was involved in this also. Peter Strzok was involved in this also. And you have you have Durham 2021. Okay, the FBI in fact initiated an investigation of the allegations in response to a meeting that Michael Sussman requested and help held with the general counsel. So you have a situation, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, you have a situation where the meeting that Sussman had with Baker directly led to the investigation. Okay. And then you have a deceptive kind of... You have a deceptive kind of camouflage. Well, it was actually from the DOJ. No, it actually came from Sussman. So they didn't, so, so, so they are actually investigating Trump a couple of days after he's giving, and this is Durham, the Durham probe is making the, the statement that, yes, it's Sussman's meeting that initiated the investigation. He's getting paid by Trump's direct political rival, Clinton. He's getting paid by Clinton to start an investigation based, utilizing your tax dollars, Okay. Strzok incorrectly claimed in his 2020 book, Compromised, that Australian diplomat Alexander Downer was spurred to inform U.S. government about a May 2016 conversation he had in London with George Papadopoulos. But again, it's like, <laughs> this is, they just needed a pretext. How many conversations do people have with, peop uh, with operatives associated with the Clintons and they don't get investigated? There was not one person. First of all, the DNC emails or Clinton's emails are not national security. Clinton's deleted emails is an example of harm to national security. There could have been top secret or special access program intelligence. There was on, on servers that she was running. And again, I want a Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump 2024 or a Clinton DeSantis 2024. Because we need to redo 2016. We're still living in it every single day. So we need to exercise those demons. But in which the Trump campaign associate allegedly mentioned, okay, the information was actually passed to the Bureau the day before Trump's remarks. So there you go. And so he, so Strzok is saying that, oh, um, that, that, that Trump in, in July 2016, that's what spurred, oh, Russia, if you're listening, I hope you have, uh, you're able to find the 30,000 emails. That's not national security. Trump can say that every single day for the rest of his life, and he wouldn't be national security. Clinton said the same thing with China and Trump's tax returns with Maddow on MSNBC. So that's not national security. <laughs> this, these, these sensibilities of these people are hilarious. They're like, oh my God, he's asking another country to find out the deleted emails of a very corrupt Democratic candidate. Oh my God. By the way, like I said, I want Clinton Trump 2024. Nobody would be happier than, than I would. But here, the information was actually passed to the Bureau the day before Trump's remarks. So the timeline is all wrong. And here you have Durham's 2021 indictment clearly stated the, F the FBI had, in fact, initiated an investigation of these allegations in response to a meeting that Sussman requested and held with the general counsel, James Baker. So there you go. There you go. And... It's a, it's unbelievable. It I mean it's just you you have a situation, ladies and gentlemen. This is a great article by Jerry Dunleavy in the Washington Examiner. Bureau opened Alpha Bank inquiry based on referral, but it came from Sussman. And you have Sussman going to numerous agencies to set up Trump on behalf of Clinton, and then he's saying he didn't work on behalf of Clinton. He's billing Clinton. Anyway. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. I'll have another 
update in a couple of hours on the Durham Pro Special Council. Be here tonight for the live stream. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be doing a segment. Well, there will be a segment up right now after you watch this on the Bitcoin Crash channel below in the pinned comment. Please watch it and the Stock Market Crash channel. Thank you so very much.